Hi and welcome back to another video by ITC Computer and IT Solutions in Austin, Texas. My name is Eric and today's tutorial I'll show you how to create a user in PC settings for a Windows 8.1 computer. This, a, this tutorial will apply to all Windows 8 and 8.1 operating systems. So let's begin. The first thing you want to do is access the control panel and go to users and accounts. So the way I get there is I simply click to my desktop here and I um, take my mouse move it to the top right of the screen and you'll see that flyout menu from the right hand side of your screen and go to search and just type in control and you'll see control panel right there now if this is the first time you've visited control panel you'll be looking at something a lot that uh, that looks a lot like this and this is because the category view um, is designed this way um, I personally don't like the category view I always move over to large icons which makes it easier for me to navigate around the screen so under large icons you want to go to user accounts and here we are so I am currently logged into this account I want to create a new account so the way I'll do that is by selecting manage another account and I would select add a new user in PC settings the next thing I'll do is select add an account now if I have a Microsoft Live or Hotmail address I can set it up here and it would link to my Microsoft account Personally, I don't use Live. I'm a big fan of Gmail, and I use Gmail, so I, I don't want to set up a Live account here. I know there's a way you can set it up with Gmail and other email account services, but I don't want to associate it with an email account, so I'm simply going to select Sign In Without a Microsoft Account, which it says it's not recommended, but I mean, it's the same thing. It works just fine. You can see the benefits to setting it up with a Microsoft account. You can download apps, get your online content, and so forth. Again, I'm not going to show you in this tutorial how to set it up with a Microsoft account. We're simply going to set up a local account. The local account username I'm going to select is just user. The password has to be um, at least a little difficult. I know that Microsoft is getting kind of picky for your own good so we don't use passwords like password or something ridiculous like that and it wants a password hint and you want to make sure that your password is not in your password hint I'll hit next and it's asking if this user is a child and if it is then you need to select child account and a child account is an account that not at that uh, can't necessarily download items uh, that person cannot install items on the computer it's more for family safety and it, you have complete control of that account and the child account does not so if it is created for a child then you'll have uh, you'll want to customize it and set up some parental controls and, and whatever else you'd like to do so you would select this and continue forward in my case this is not a child account so I'm going to uncheck that and hit finish so once I set that up, I can go back a screen here and I'll be in PC settings. Now, PC settings is something unique to Windows 8. And PC settings um, really lets you get very granular with, with customizing the, um, the user environment for the specific user. You can do everything from changing the lock screen to the picture password to adding a picture for the account, um, you can set up SkyDrive and add apps and background serve uh, background applications, startup applications. I mean, again, it's so uh, in depth. It literally is going to take you at least 10, 15 minutes playing around here to get the uh, the user environment the way you want it. Um, one of the ones I'll end up uh, doing, or I do quite a bit on the system, is I go to PC and Devices, and I go to Display. And some of us. You know, we all don't have perfect um, eyesight. Some of us might want something like 1280 by 800, and others might want full res 1920 by 1080. In this case, I'm going to go back to where I'm comfortable, which is 1424 by 768. It is the standard that came with my MacBook Pro. 
I can set the mouse and touchpad items here, again under PC and devices in the PC settings section of the user account. If I go to mouse and touchpad, I can select your primary button left or right for lefties or righties. Under corners and edges, I can see, um, I can turn them on or off whenever I go to the bottom left or the bottom right. If I go to PC info, it could say it'll show you how much information is um, uh, what uh, I'm sorry. It'll show you information towards. Uh, it'll show you information for the computer. Um, this is a uh, Parallels install that I've installed here, so it's a virtual machine, which is why it's showing this information here. Going back to the lock screen, I can edit the lock screen picture if I wanted to. And uh, again, really change these settings and play around in here. That's just one section of PC settings. There are accounts, SkyDrive, search, and apps. Uh, I can show you just some brief information here. But again, you guys can get very detailed and you can add so many different things to a specific user. It is, it's amazing. I think one of the best features of Windows 8 in general is PC settings because if you have more than one person sharing a, sharing a computer in home or office, it, it really lets you customize that user's user experience, and it makes it unique to them because this isn't uh, we're not all the same. We're all unique, and our computers and the way we use computers are the same way. So again, and just to recap, in this video, I've shown you how to create a new user on a Windows 8 8.1 professional machine. This um, tutorial will apply to all Windows 8 operating system releases, uh, basic, pro, enterprise. Um, if I, I've also shown you guys um, to customize that user under PC settings. Um, under PC settings you can add a lock screen image, picture password, or account picture. And I'm going to show you how to get out of PC settings because one of the most difficult things in Windows 8, and uh, believe it or not, is that uh, there's a lot coming at you, and it can be a lot. It can be very confusing, and if you're not used to the environment, you might easily get sidetracked, or you might easily get um, frustrated just by trying to get out of somewhere. So to get out of PC settings, I always use my hot corners. I go down to the bottom left. You'll see this little hot corner pop up here. This flyout. I'll right click here and I'll go back to my desktop. Now if I want to close PC settings because it is still open in the background, I will go back to my pop up here, right click on PC settings and hit close. To verify that I have created that new user, I'm going to go back into control panel, take my mouse, move it top right to the screen, I'll see that fly out menu here again click on search control panel guys we are flying all over Windows 8.1 right now it is extremely easy to use once you do it once or twice here click on user accounts click on manage another account and you'll see my new user that I created is right here if I want to delete that user I'll simply just hit or select delete that account I can choose if I want to keep files or delete those files so I'm gonna go ahead and just delete them great all right, that was extremely easy. Easy. Um, if you guys have any questions or concerns, leave them in the comment section of this video. For free support, you can check us out at facebook.com forward slash IT conflict or twitter.com forward slash IT conflict. And do me a favor, if you guys enjoy our videos, uh, Show your support and, and hit the subscribe button. It really means that you guys support our cause and it shows that you guys support our cause here on YouTube. We make these videos for you all. Uh, it, it only makes us more inclined to make more videos and, and help out the community. So again, guys, thanks for watching. This is Eric with ITC Computer and IT Solutions in Austin, Texas. Until next time, take care.